top player. It is Let's Tickle versus an up and coming player in our region, Seattle, Mum's mm -hmm. Cookie. You oh, heard wow. that right? Not Mum's Spaghetti, but Mum's Cookie. Okay, it's so. It's dessert time. So I'm going to root for my boy, Let's Tickle, and you're going to root for your boy. Well, I know. I'm not going to. No, we're neutral. We're neutral. Well, but, but, you know, no bias here. It's not bias of BC. <laughs> but, uh. Go for it, Yep. <laughs> All right, but Let's Tickle was a corn main in the last game, and he was one of the best, I think, in my opinion. Oh. Didn't travel that much, but I thought his corn was amazing. It definitely was, yeah. Corn fit his play style so well. Like, he really likes to play this very safe keep away game, mm -hmm. and Corn with the big hitboxes, the strong edge trapping game, fit him very well, but his inkling is kind of amazing in this game as well. So Yeah, I'm looking forward to see more of it. Mom's Cookie, I believe, plays Pichu. Pichu, uh, okay. Yeah, I, his Pichu has been doing some work. <laughs> Let's take it has a lot of matchup experience on Pichu. I, like I imagine. I imagine. Like we have Captain Al, we have uh, Lemon in BC. And, uh, oh, he's Lemon plays Pichu now too? Lemon plays every top tier character, and especially Pichu. He had like a phase where he played Pichu for like three weeks or a month or something. And they play against each other all the time. Like they are both uh, North Van. So let's see if Let's Tickle can put his matchup experience into work here. Okay, uh, starting out white with a lot of back S here. <laughs> these conversions so far from yeah. Mom's Cookie are looking pretty crisp. And I, you know, it's just the beginning of the match, but let's see if Let's Tickle. Oh, are you good knockdown there. Oh. Yeah, he faded back before doing the roller there to catch the roll in because normally the roll in is a good answer to the roller. It gets through. But yeah, let's take us ready for that. Ooh, hey, right there, That's we what I'm talking about, yeah. yeah. And that is the matchup knowledge. You know, Pichu does have a very mm -hmm. strong projectile, but you can just throw it a meaty aerial. Oh, wow. And yeah. then you're dead. Yeah. <laughs> so I think he went for a different angle to avoid the down tilt there, but that eventually led to him not reaching the ledge. So yeah, it's like a showing why he's good at this matchup, calling out the Thunder Jolt, calling out the recovery. That's what he needed to do. And that whole interaction was because he, you know, he got that hit on the jump. So yeah, exactly. And he's always avoiding these Thunder Jolts. Like he's spacing away from them very far because you don't want to shield them. Obviously, you don't want to get hit by them. That's like a key in this matchup. Yeah, using Inkling's stats, wow, that's okay. a dead Pichu. No, no what? How? Pichu is too small. <laughs> I can't be well, hit. Well, OK, then. Buried it a bit too much into the ground, I guess. Uh, so that's a big question mark for me, man. Yeah, I think he might have missed the dash away before the F-Knife there. Uh, m most likely. Yeah. No way! Out of shield options, man. People think That's one of the only ways to punish that. Yeah. Parry and then fair. Hey, hey, yo, you were talking about earlier, we can definitely see like the uh, the matchup knowledge coming out from Let's Tickle. Yeah, but I haven't even seen him doing that before, so he's evolving right on the spot. And Pichu staying a baby. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Pichu's not evolving, but that works in his favor in Ultimate because a little bit better than Pikachu, I'd say. Yeah, we joked around for so long about how, man, what if Pichu was top tier? Yeah. And we got what we asked for, so. But we got Isam here today to tell us all, uh, maybe the, it's not that clear who's better. That's oh. another roll-up, yeah. Oh, once again, wow, Crazy not match. killing. Yeah, but that wasn't because uh, that secret messed it up. Oh, huh? okay. Yeah, going wow. soaring out of here, the, the splat bomb catching him down below. And let's tickle what's moving on. We saw Mom's cookie earlier in that in that fight. Able to seal stock with a down air, um, but I think that Let's Tickle was already had so much confidence mm -hmm. to kind of close out that game. So let's see. I, I think it was fairly pretty close. So I'm interested to see how the set kind of goes out throughout. Yeah, he's definitely doing a very good job at covering these peach recovery options. Yeah, which a lot of characters cannot even challenge. No, but no, he's no. like positioning the spat bomb correctly, these down tilts, and then Peachy still has to get back on stage after that. Like you can just throw some attempts to hit and then the actual ledge trapping even starts. Mm -hmm. Like so, it's a very good game plan against Pichu. And you don't really need too much hits, you just need a few solid ones and then Pichu's already in kill percents. So yeah, we are seeing the Zero Suit coming out, I didn't know he he had one. Tell us more. Yeah, I've 
You know, I played on Wi-Fi once, and I thought it was you just having fun, but apparently it's more of a thing now. So <laughs> I, I don't see it too much, so this is just a counter pick, I feel. Yeah, that sickle definitely not as experienced in the new suit matchup as he is in the Pichu matchup, so... Does Lemon not play Zero Suit at all? No, not no. anymore. I have never seen him use Zero Suit, so... Uh, the, the long reach and the long legs of Zero Suit can definitely contest Inkling, you know, air to air. And speaking of the long legs, the flip kick, hitting there twice the in a row. The foot jump, remember? Oh, oh you're the, right. The flip jump. Okay, yeah, not the flip kick, the foot jump. Very important. We'll look it up, Think guys. Time. It's uh, apparently it's a thing. Apparently it's a thing. And Mom's Cookie taking the first stock, so Zero Suit working very well, but getting the perfect uh, up for up air there on the platform, which gives him an extra 10% or something to get that kill. Yeah, well, I want to see if if Let's Go's pretty consistent in getting those up throw up airs. He is, yeah. He left that out a lot. I mean, it's it's so important to get these confirms. So it's... Yeah, you, you have to get it down. Nice. Good wake he, there. Yeah, he delayed his wake up there so he would not get hit by the, the Paralyzer. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Jeff wants to grab. I like that. Yeah, jab cancels aren't really a thing anymore, so I think it was just let's just go giving a little bit to a little respect, you know. Yeah, that is true. And let's take a really likes to go. Well, these. That's Ooh, wow. nice. He came down mm -hmm. with the button, and you know, Mom's Q is right there with the down smash. Yeah, this is not Annie's use suit. He really knows how to play her. This is not just a desperate pick. It's not a Ganondorf. Yeah, he actually has no suit. no shade. <laughs> Wow, okay. nice. Not getting the spike, but oh! <laughs> the cojones. Is, is that the Mars? The cojones of Mom's Cookie, man. Well, that was definitely Mars esque there. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, like, man. He, uh, that was a counter pick. He exploded, that was definitely a counter pick. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Just when I got excited for that Nair uh, flip jump kick, flip kick. Oh, I you know what, we can call it everyone. I bet people will use your flip kick, but you know, yeah. we'll look it up, boys and girls. Yeah, perfectly catching that uh, inkling up B angle with it down there, seeing at that stock. Oh man, this series is looking good. Yeah, this is honestly a lot more interesting match. You know, we have this the squid or a kid if you prefer. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, versus this this hunter, the this, hunter, this, yeah. the Amazonian <laughs> zero suit Samus man. Oh yeah, some little bit of spaghetti there in the close combat. Yeah, CQC is very important. You have to know how to dance around your opponent, Cro mm -hmm. cross up or not. Okay. Yeah, that is not a true confirm anymore. Uh, most percents. Uh, okay. Uh, you know, why not? We 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 had dreams. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh yeah, whoa. yeah. Okay. Apparently, <laughs> there, there's some there's some tether wonkiness I've seen in yeah. around the internet here, and I'm not sure people quite understand it yet. But yes, you can actually like. Almost like you're teleporting. Was it intentional, you think? I'll ask him later, but I have seen it with Belmonts too. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, it's a very quick option. I mean, if you're able to do it consistently, it might be a good option to get back on stage. I don't know. I don't know how much leg it has and stuff, but yeah. Yeah, reaching far with that uh, plasma whip. Okay, yeah. I don't know where that up came from, but... It's uh, maybe the most questionable thing that he did so far. Like these uh, upbeats are kind of out of range. Maybe some misinputs here, I don't know. Yeah, you never know. It, in intense situations, you can always make, do some mess ups, but it's about how you make up for those mistakes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good jump out of that combo. And now let's tickle, trying to keep the stock as long as possible. He really hates dying, I can tell you that. <laughs> Who doesn't? <laughs> Yeah, but especially him, like, <laughs> he gets mad over every kill he gets, even at, like, he's at 200, he gets killed by something, he's like, oh, man, I don't want to get killed. <laughs> okay, the splat bomb. Yeah, the ledge trap set up, covering a few options. It looks like Let's Tickle kind of called out that the, the foot jump, too. Yeah, he did. And he's actually in a good position to take another stock now before losing his first one, even surviving that plasma rip. Oh, yeah, staying in oh. shield for so long. Very good patience. Yeah, he had the patience, but he didn't, uh, you know, get the punish. 
Yeah, he knows that Zeus doesn't really have too good options to pressure shields. Because the grab is slow, of course. That's very true. And right now, Let's Tickle is kind of smothering Ooh, Mom's yeah. Cookie, but, you know, mashing out. You know, if there's a gap, Mom's Cookie is able to find it. Yes, but he's still a full stock ahead. Two stocks. Two stocks ahead. Yeah, I'm saying he's, he's pretty good lead this game. Yep, he just needs to play this down. Very safe, but Zeus is definitely a character who can explode out of nowhere. So, yep. But this is the point where players start panicking, and we can kind of see it. Mom's Cookie is pressing a lot more buttons in disadvantage. Unless Tickle is just sitting there fine. Yep. That's, I think, one of his biggest strengths as a player. He's just very consistent, very patient, goes for the safe options. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was the time, man. You, you, you got to know the opportunities. High risk, high reward. Use it, Simon's Grab. Still, still the same business in this game. Okay. Actually, no. It's like not that much reward anymore. No, down throw is uh, nerfed. It's not going to kill you at zero. Forward throw and back throw is like the new hotness. Yeah, But right? it, it's, it's still being optimized and whatnot. You can get like 50-50s out of it, depending on if you call it out with a 